full summers and sorrows It's Sydney, I, 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 I lay this island with the why okay let me shut up and just get into the video okay the video is all about who who mars and taurus so before i get into mars and taurus i would like to let you all know that i do birth chart readings so if you're interested in getting your birth chart read if you're interested in finding out what your venus is your mercury your mars and how they all work together hit me up email me at s.island yeah, s.island55 at yahoo.com. And also you can DM me on Instagram at sydney underscore island, all lowercase. In this corner, finger on the screen, Sid, right there. Yeah, right there. In that corner, it's going to say Planet Mars in Astrology Explained. Hit that for deeper details on Planet Mars. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into Mars and Taurus. So Planet Mars is all about your sex drive. It's all about your energy. It's all about how you get motivated, how you get things started, how you go about taking action to get what you desire, right? Planet Mars is a very physical planet, so it has a lot to do with how you carry your physical body. It has a lot to do with the type of physical body that you're kind of sexually attracted to. So Mars rules Aries and Libra. I mean, why did I say that? Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. Libra is Aries opposite. Okay, so Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. Since Taurus is opposite to Scorpio, this placement, you're in detriment. But a lot of times you hear that and people talk about it as if it's like the worst thing in the world. I personally think that it's a worse placement to have a Mars and Libra, which is opposite to Aries because Mars dominates Aries energy more than Scorpio it co-rules Scorpio so I feel like it's definitely more in detriment having a Mars and Libra than in a Mars and Taurus but it definitely has its problems the main issue is is that you are hard to get going you know how like a Mars and Aries I have a Mars and Aries right and this makes me super energetic and super motivated if I want to do something I just go do it I don't need anybody to light the fire under my booty to get me going like I'm already ready to go but a Mars and Taurus may be a bit lazy and they may be so stubborn that like if there's something in their life that needs to change they they may notice it but they just don't change because they're so comfortable with the familiar that they won't change anything you know even if it's clear that there needs to be a change in their life they're just such a comfortable sign uh that change kind of rubs them the wrong way a little bit and kind of makes them uncomfortable and it kind of makes them anxious so they won't activate change and sometimes they won't even feel as though a change is needed because they feel as though hey if it works why fix it right Whereas in Mars and Aries, which Mars rules Aries, so this is like one of the best placements to have, you're going to be like, whether whether change needs to be had or not, I'm going to change because change is good. And change is good. Um, and planet Mars understands this. But when it's in Taurus, it struggles to initiate the change that is needed, okay? Planet Mars is a little bit frustrated in Mars and Taurus, but not 100% completely because mars and taurus people they also can be very dedicated and very patient this isn't a really bad placement to have because you have the power to endure you have the power to endure things that other people may not have the willpower to you can deal with a lot of bull crap to get where you need to go like you're very 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 patient um so you have the patience to deal with like rowdy children being a school teacher or you have the patience to deal with people who have attitudes at your job like you have patience to deal with something that's boring and it takes too long like you have a lot of patience to see a goal through so this isn't the worst placement this is actually a really good placement um depending on you know your sun sign and your mercury and all that kind of stuff if you have a taurus sun and a mars and taurus i feel like you're still gonna be motivated because taurus is a motivated sign um, it's like if you have like a cancer sun or with the Mars and Taurus, then you may have issues kind of getting things going because Taurus and cancers can be homebodies, right? This is a good placement because Mars and Taurus, they get pleasure from work, you know, they get pleasure from working hard, you know, they, they, mo they're motivated by that bag, honey, like Taurus is, man, I'm a Taurus sun, okay? I really, making money is very important to me. So if you have a Mars and Taurus, you're motivated by the bag. 
So although you may be lazy one minute, when you see something that you want, you can get your ass up and go do it. And you won't really need anybody to tell you. It's kind of like this. You, you move when you want to move. You're kind of stubborn and independent minded. And you're like, if, if it is not important enough to me, I'm not going to do it. And this may be frustrating to people around you because they may see you as like selfish and, and you know, you're doing things for yourself. You're very slow to act, okay? Planet Mars is a planet of action, so you're slow to act, all right? You're slow to get things going, but once you get it going, you get it going, and you're very thorough with your actions. Much like a Mars in Virgo and Capricorn, your fellow Earth signs, you get off on results. You love to see tangible results. You love to see that something has come from your hard work. Much like a Mars and Virgo and Capricorn, also, you know how to be successful in the real world. Because these earth signs, they understand what works in this material world. They understand how to be successful in this material world. And so you have this very realistic, very rational, clear view of how to be successful in the world. So don't let nobody tell you that you, you having a Mars and Taurus is a bad thing. Oh my God, that's in detriment. That's in detriment. Oh my God. Like, no, it's okay, boo-boo. Like, just as long as you know where you fall short and you know your strengths and your placement it can work out just fine you observe through the five senses because you're taurus and taurus is so sensual right we are motivated i say we because i'm a taurus son you're motivated by your five senses you, you you're motivated by your desires okay you have a lot of desires having a mars and taurus you have a lot of sexual desires also which i'm going to get into a little bit later so stay tuned for the sex talk which i know y'all want to you know get into so soft fabrics and good scents and all that type of stuff is really important to you good smells um you know seeing beautiful things around you you know you're just you're very much stimulated by your five senses and so this makes you very sensual okay so we're going to ease into the sex talk when we talk about sensuality right mars and taurus people are very sensual when it comes to sex they're very sensual in the bedroom right they're very sensitive to touch and they know how to touch you. Touch is huge when it comes to sex with the Mars and Taurus, right? When it comes to sex, you take your time in the bedroom. You're not gonna jump into it and just rush and go crazy like a, a Mars and Aries, for example. Um, I feel like you can be animalistic in the bedroom, but you have to build up to that point. You're not just gonna jump in the bed and go crazy. You have to get comfortable. You have to, everything kind of has to be right. You know, you're kind of OCD. It's like a Mars and Virgo when it comes to your environment and when it comes to sex. You have high standards when it comes to your sexual partner and the environment that you're in when you have sex is very important to you. You know, you have to have the good smells and the candles lit and the good music. You explore the art of love through the physical through touch okay you're a lover because planet venus rules taurus okay venus is in mars you're a lover but you express your love through sex okay so sometimes you may not know how to say i love you except through sex having a mars and taurus because love is in a physical placement such as mars or you may still love to say i love you with your mouth but you feel like it's not complete until you say I love you with your body you know what I'm saying you can be very lustful um, and and you just have a high libido and a high sex drive and you find sex to be very important okay you can be real you know driven by sex but people wouldn't really know because Taurus is a subtle kind of energy people may not look at you and think oh that person's like real sexual but you have a high sex drive and you really love sex you just not dominant and aggressive about going about getting it you have a very high stamina when it comes to sex because taurus is the sign that is built to endure is built to you know go the long haul go the long way with things so when it comes to sex you you do enjoy foreplay more than a lot of other signs you enjoy that whole getting buttered up before you get you know turned on um, and when you are having sex, you will last in the bedroom for a long time. And Mars and Taurus people may be a little seductive, you know? They may be a little charming, you know? They may be a little bit like, when they look at you, they kind of like... There's a sexual energy behind the way you flirt, you know? It may be very innocent, it may come off as very innocent, but there's a certain sexuality behind the way that you flirt behind the way that you look at somebody or the way that you touch their hand when you're talking to them, you know? It may be, it may, you may be trying to be innocent with it, but there is a sexual nature behind the way that you just are when you're with your, your, your partner or when you're flirting with somebody. 
you have an eye for beauty because planet Venus rules beauty and it rules Taurus. You have an a eye for beauty, you know, home decor is very important to you, living in a beautiful home, dressing nice, all that kind of thing, dressing your body. Um, your looks is also very important to you. You put a lot of your energy into the way that you look, into putting on the makeup and wearing the nice clothes and all that. You have this uh, appreciation for art. You, you're a very hard worker. When you really want to be, you can work really hard. Um, but it's like you also take pleasure really seriously too. You take relaxation really seriously. You know, it's really important that you have that moment where you're sipping on some wine, you know, just chilling, watching your favorite TV show. Like relaxation and pleasure is really important to you. So that's why sex is really important to you because pleasure is really important to you. And you really do work hard when you really want to. And when you work hard, you feel like, okay, I've worked hard. Now it's time to relax. It's really hard to get a Mars and Taurus to do what you want them to do. This is a weakness and a strength. They're hard to manipulate. Which is good. It's good to be hard to manipulate because that means you have your own mind, right? But at the same time, it's like manipulation isn't always bad, okay? If you're trying to manipulate somebody to be a better version of themselves, for example, Tars may be like, you know what? I'm already good enough. I don't need your help, you know? Um, they're just really stubborn. And if you're trying to get this sign out and about, you know, going to a party or whatever, if they already settled in and relaxed, they're not going nowhere, okay? they stuck in their spot. So let's talk about the anger of Mars and Taurus because Mars rules your anger. And there are some Mars signs who have crazy, crazy anger. Like Mars and Aries, for example. Aries is already known to have a crazy temper. Taurus is also known to have a temper, but they're very, very much more patient. You're very patient, but then once people poke and poke at you and they provoke that anger in you your anger is terrifying like your anger is scary like oh my god i gotta get out of here i'm running the f away i am scared okay mars and taurus people can be violent when they're mad you know like this is the bull okay the bull if you've seen a bull in the ring when you wave that little red shirt in front of the bull the bull goes crazy the bull don't care like the bull is gonna knock you over the bull is gonna boom 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 it, it don't care so like mars and taurus they can have some pretty pretty crazy anger but you won't see it right off the bat. It takes time to see their anger and to provoke their anger. But when that anger is released, look out. Mars and Taurus people, you know, you value strength. You value strength because you're a very strong person and you value strength in other people. And you may be the type to motivate other people and try to pull out the strength in other people and uplift other people. Stability is, is a huge drive for you, much like a Capricorn Virgo Mars. Stability is just really important to you. You're driven by, you know, the end result being stability. Um, you're the type to have long-term goals and to be able to see those long-term goals through. But adaptability just is not your strong suit, okay? Like like a mutable sign like Virgo or Gemini, there is easier for them to adapt to change. Whereas a Mars and Taurus, like I said, change rubs you the wrong way. So you're not the most adaptable. That's really some positive words for you, okay? You're reliable. You're very reliable. You're strong. You're you're independent. You have your own mind. You're cautious, okay? You're cautious of other people's motives, okay? You are very smart and you can be very analytical and you don't just trust people right off the bat. You're very self-disciplined. You are also uh, very loyal. You're very, very loyal, especially when it comes to friendships and romance and relationships. You're very, very loyal. You take uh, your, the relationship with your loved ones very seriously but on the bad side you can be stubborn as hell super lazy and some people may also see you as boring because you don't want to go out and have fun you want to just chill and sit in your house but overall mars and taurus you are builders you know how to build what it is that you want you know how to build a, a solid foundation for yourself and for your children and for your spouse or whoever it is you know how to build you know how to maintain a certain level of success and you don't really need a lot of support and help from other people to go about getting it. But you're, like I said, your not so good trait is that you are hard to get going. It's hard for you to sometimes do what you really want to do in life because of that laziness, you know. But Mars and Taurus, you have the willpower to do whatever you want. So you should just go ahead and initiate that energy inside of yourself and stop being lazy because you're so much better than that Mars and Taurus like you're you're a very valuable player okay so stop tripping all right so I love you all like comment share and subscribe go ahead and hit me up for them birth chart readings hope you enjoyed this bye bye